Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church, Philippines, just giving you a quick missionary update. And uh, this past week we had a total of 120 salvations between our ministries. And uh, this time of year it is, uh, I don't know if you can hear, but there's a lot of rain outside right now. Uh, we got soul winning later today, hoping it doesn't uh, get rained out. But this time of year sometimes the weather can be a bit of a hindrance and uh, there's less holidays right now. But we do have more ministries now, so uh, in total, you know, we're able to get 120 salvations this past week. Uh, we're looking forward to the end of this month, though, because the rainfall is going to go uh, down quite a bit in our locations, and there's going to be more holidays to do soul winning starting in November and December in those months. But 120 total salvations. Uh, in terms of sermons preached on Genesis, uh, we're going through Genesis on Tuesdays. Genesis 5, these are the generations of Adam, is what I was preaching on, just verse by verse. And on, on the weekend, I preached on having stability in our lives, unstable as water. So I talked about uh, basically... To be successful in any area of our life, we need a support system of basic things that we make sure we get done, like basically a pillar. So for example, our walk with the Lord, just a basic pillar is reading the Bible every day. And if we're reading the Bible every day, if that's our support system, our walk with the Lord is gonna be strong. But I talked about how it needs to be static, which means unmoving depending on the situation. You get it done no matter what, and the result is success. It's really very basic, but what makes you successful at anything in life is just consistency with uh, the core things that are important. And uh, I preached also on the examination from the Lord found in Psalm 26 as we're going through the book of Psalms. A couple of other announcements. Uh, we do have our Bible memorization challenge. Uh, we always have a Bible memorization challenge going on, but basically what we're doing is giving a prize out for memorizing a chapter perfectly, and there's either a, a chip or candy or snack uh, prize and so I think it's going to be a good motivation for people memorizing the Bible and so um, you know I believe Bible memorization is really kind of a core thing of our Christianity that's kind of sometimes forgotten and kind of having that extra motivation I think is going to help people um, you know a couple other things in our uh, sermons that we're recording we're kind of doing something different with our Facebook and YouTube and uh, we're going to have a backup for our uh, sermons on YouTube so if the connection isn't uh, doesn't end up being good. If there's uh, no stability in our internet connection out here, we'll be able to upload a better version uh, later on during the week. But, um, you know, we're, we're trying something new, and I kind of messed it up a little bit on Facebook this past week, but, uh, you know, we're working through the technical differences. We're basically, our upload on Facebook is going to be different than our, up our live stream on Facebook will be different than our live stream on uh, YouTube on Sundays. And uh, it's on a different internet connection, but the sound quality should still be good with Facebook. And kind of the purpose for that is just in case the connection's bad. Hopefully the connection will be good with one of them. What we do to YouTube is a little bit um, harder for us to do out here. Sometimes our technology fails a little bit, but uh, generally the connection on Facebook is pretty strong. And the sound quality should start being good. It just had a minor technical difficulty this past um, you know, week. But it should be in the next couple weeks, we should have a good sound quality. So if it's not working on YouTube, you can go to Facebook. If, you're, if, you, if it's not working on Facebook, you can go to YouTube. It'll give us two different connections, uh, just in case the quality is not the best. Uh, the other thing is, um, I'm going to link a video from Pastor uh, Jonathan Shelley for their, uh, they got a preaching conference this week. For those of you that tune into our ministry here in the Philippines, the Fire Breathing Baptist Fellowship. Uh, there's a lot of great men of God. A lot of my friends in ministry um, are going to be preaching uh, at that conference and is later on this week. For those of you here in the Philippines, um, the way the time is going to work compared to where the conference is in Texas, we are 13 hours ahead of them. So basically, if it's uh, 6 p.m. in um, Texas when the conference is taking place, it's going to be 12 hours forward, so instead of 6 p.m., 6 a.m., plus one more hour, 7 a.m. So we're 13 hours in front, and so, of course, he's going to have the times listed for uh, their time zone for Texas, but you can just jump forward uh, 13 hours, and uh, obviously with the time frames, you might not be able to be awake if you're here in the Philippines during those times, but whatever times you're able to, you're going to be able to catch great preaching. So I'll link that video here below. And, uh, you know, overall, just things are going well. Just continue to pray for our ministry and uh, pray for things to be less strict and things to open up. And uh, anyways, thank you and God bless.